Today I'm going to show you how to make a tile flooring in SketchUp. So let's start. First, let's make our room. So my, my measurement right now is meters. So this is our room size. I made it 4x4. Four four. And let's make the tile flooring before we make the wall. So we can go into our asset editor. And over here, we can click and click generic. Okay, now we have um, just a gray material. We can make it white first. Now we can click into our bump. In our bump map right here, we can click on the texture slot and click grid. And over here, now I can see a black square outlined with white. So I'm gonna make actually make it the opposite. So it's a, it's a white square outlined with black. And it's also really, really thick. So I'm gonna make it 0 0.05. There, five. Okay, there we go. Now we can also see that it has an effect on it, but we also have to copy it, go into our diffuse, and paste as copy. Okay, now let's um, go into our settings and make sure that it's at interactive and CPU. The interactivity depends on your computer. If it can handle a lot, then you can do high, but I'm just going to stick with medium. Okay, now let's pour our generic material. So okay and we can also fix this because it's like really small like these little squares yeah this is one little square so let's go into our edit and here you can like select so one okay one is really big so i'm gonna actually make it 0.7 there okay there that's good and i'm going to make this a group really quickly and let's start our render Okay, so as you can see, it is very, very, very thick. Way too thick, so let me just show you. Okay, if I search up tile grid, oh, I've already searched it up, okay. If I search up tile grid flooring, and I go into images, and if, if you see this one, it's like really thin, like you can barely see it, like this. So I'm gonna try to make it like exactly this size, so let's go in. Okay, so the be the good thing about interactive is that if you like, if you keep on interactive and you switch it or something, you can always see the changes. So over here, we can click bump, come into here, and it's 0 0.05. So I'm actually gonna make it 0 0.05. Now you can't really see a difference, but we can, but we have to copy it first and paste as copy over here. Okay, this is great. Now it is like a really thin line and you can barely see it. it's just like the picture so we can stop the render first and now since we're done with the flooring we can also concentrate on the walls now so let's do that so first i'm going to okay and i'm gonna double click and make this a group so that we never get confused and i'm gonna push it up by three Oh, it pushed down by three. Okay, I'm gonna push it up by three. All right, now I can copy and paste it to the other side too. All right, like this. Now we can also put a wall over here, but I'm gonna leave over here hollow with no wall so I can put the furniture inside. Okay, now I'm gonna turn this one round. Okay. Let's see this one's straight. Okay, we can. Okay, now let's push it in. Okay, great. So now that we have our walls over here and our tile flooring, we can make, we can start making our things. So over here will be our bed, I think. And over here, I'm gonna make a window. So let's double tap into here and make a window this move it down a little bit okay I want this to be like kind of like a unique room you'll see what I mean I'm gonna put this down like this okay and instead of just normally like a square window I want to make like one of those curved windows so I'm gonna take my arch tool and like this Okay, now we can erase that line over there. And now we can 
shape it like that. Okay, now we have like this kind of window and we can also decorate it. So let's do that. Okay, so now I've made my window and it took such a long time. I'm not going to be making a window like that anytime soon. So let's make our door, of, I mean our bed over here now. Why did I say door? Okay, so, okay. Now I have a wood material that I'm going to get so we can make our bed. So first let's make like the base of our bed like this okay and i'm gonna go into um my asset editor and in here i can import i can import sorry i mean i can make a generic material why do i say import and i in over here i can click bitmap and i can select um, what texture am I use? So, I'm gonna use this one, American Walnut. Okay, so, let's go back here. And now the texture is here, I'm going to add a little bit of touch to it. So I'm gonna make it over here in reflection. I'm gonna make it a little bit glossy. Just a little bit. Okay. And in refraction, I'm also gonna make it a little bit dark. It's a little bit darker and in ICR I'm gonna make it so it's not like it's not as smooth. Okay. Okay, I think this is okay, and now we can uh, just use this material now. So here I can use the paint bucket tool. Okay. Right. Okay, and I should probably make this. Um, I should probably make this a group. I remember when I didn't make groups. Yeah, it didn't turn out well because whenever you have a chance to make groups, you should make them because, like, if you like move something that's not a group, then it will be like. Yeah, it's not. It's it's not gonna move well. It's just gonna be like stuck to them. Okay, so it's a little bit transparent, so let's go and fix that. Our asset editor, and here we can see um, oh, our refraction, so let's do that. Is it still transparent? Oh, okay. Okay, now it's not transparent anymore. We can move out, and okay, now we have our bed thing, and it doesn't really look like a wood texture because it's so small, so we can make that 0.7 okay that's much better now we can okay now i'm going to use the round corner tool to round these edges off so let's use the round corner tool okay so i think um there's not you can't use a group so i'm just going to come to my group and select all the edges okay and now i can do it so let's see Okay, this is the offset. This is like where it's gonna round. So it's 0 0.001 right now. I'm gonna 0 0.005. Okay, I think I like that. And yeah, there we go. Click generate geometry. Yeah, there we go. And the round corner tool is a really helpful tool because like when you render it, everything just looks much better. Cause now like the edges are not sharp. They're just like, like this and why is this part not wood okay there we go now it's all wood and now we can make our mattress so in one of my videos i taught how to i showed you how to make a mattress so i'm just going to make a mattress and speed this up
Okay, now I've made my mattress and I'm gonna put it on the bed. So I use a sub D tool to round it off these corners. Okay, using the move tool, just place it right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we have our mattress on our bed, and I can't make a pillow because I didn't pay for the Clothworks trial license. So I'm just gonna go look for one in 3D Warehouse. And I'm going to select, just to search up pillow. And I'm going to models. Okay, these are all really cool. Ooh, these are all so cute. I like this one. It's so, so cute. But like, I want like a head pillow, so... I can't see this one, so... I think I'll just go with... Hmm. Maybe if I search a bed pillow. Bed pillow? back to pillow okay I'm just gonna stop being picky and choose this one actually no I'm going to pick this one wait no I can just choose this one yeah I'll choose this one and I'm gonna click yes we'll wait for it to download and I'll see you then Okay, now it's done downloading, and my SketchUp's gonna not respond for um, some time. So let's wait. All right, so my pillows have come, and they are super nice. I really like them. Okay, so we can put them against our bed right here. So. Let's just put them right here. Okay, that's really nice, but I think we should put a headboard so we can stack these. And I'm not gonna do that much today. Maybe I'll like do it another time, but I'm just gonna put a bed and then a little, um, and then I'm just gonna put a rug and I'll do designing more like next time because we're kind of running out of time now. So over here, I'm going to make a headboard. Okay, this is good. I'm gonna make this a group. And I'm gonna use the same wood material that I used. Now I'm going to edge it out by 0 0.40. Why is it that huge? 0 0.04, sorry. Okay, that's good enough. And we can also make it a little bit, like the texture a little bit bigger. So, one, okay. One is good, and now we can lean our bed against it. Okay, great. I think it's... I think it's okay. But we can obviously have to take it down a little bit. Kind of un underestimated our bed. Okay. And in another video, I'll probably be, like, making, like, the... The bedside table.